Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about another easy little problem from lead code. The problem name is construct the rectangle. As you can see, a web developer needs to know how to design a web page size. So given a specific rectangular web page area, your job is now to design a rectangular web page whose length is L and width is W, which satisfy the following requirements. The area of the rectangle web page you designed must be equal to the given target area. That is one thing. The width W should not be larger than the length, which is length is always greater than or equal to W. The difference between L and W should be as small as possible. You have to return an array of L comma W, as you can see, mentioning the length and width of the web page you designed in the sequence. So it's pretty much simple. You are given an area of a rectangular web page and you have to eventually find out the length and width you want for that particular web page. Now, what's the overall thing? Like, how will you find out that? So it's pretty much simple that you have a area. So if the length is, let's say, so L into W is equal to area because it should be exactly the same. So what you have to do is that if you, let's assume, find out length, then the width is obviously equal to area divided by length. So you just have to iterate over for length. Now, how will you find out length? What you can also say that, uh, let's say if it is four, so possible options are one, four, two, two. There can also be again two, two, because uh, in this scenario, they're assuming that length is two and width is two. The next case also be like, they can also be a case that like again, width is two and length is two, which is all already same. But I want to emphasize on that is that you are just doing a for loop like one, two, then three is not possible. So four and so on. So you are possibly like shifting or like all, like you can see shuffling as well. So what I'm trying to say here is that you can find out till the very middle of the area that is given to you. Now, if you go to the very middle, the constraints are pretty much high because like, uh, like one case can be one comma four and other can also be four comma one. What I'm trying to say is that it will repeat, but I should only focus on the areas in which length is greater than the width. So the other half is like redundant to calculate also. So at which point should I go to? So as you can also see here, that if I scroll down, the length is pretty much large, 10 by seven. But what you can observe here is that if I want to go to the very middle, then it is still very high. Uh, 10 to the power 7 divided by 2 is still 10 to the power 6, which is like a lot, lot greater. So we shouldn't go to the very middle, but instead we should go to the square root of this value that is n, whatever n is given to you like here. Why square root? Because it is square root into square root is equal to n, which means that I sh like this, like because I have to actually go to the very middle in which like there's L and W, the very optimal way because I want to minimize the value is still square root because square root and square root is the very optimal answer. If I get two into two, which is the very optimal answer to go to. And thus I should go to the square root of N. Okay. This will come by practice only by experience as well, because uh, instead of going to the very middle, it is like very middle. You cannot afford, but square root you can afford because the answer, the very optimal, the maximum good possible case answer lies onto the square root. So it's better to go from one to the square root, including the square root as well and find out. So iterating one to square root for L. Okay. The value of L, the length goes from one to square root and then uh, oh, sorry. You can take it to the width because I want the one to be small and the length should be larger. So if width is one, then the length width. So as you can see here, this is 37. So if width is one, then only the length is 37 and I want the length to be larger. So that's why I will do an iteration of width from one to square root of N and the length will be the total area divided by width. And so, so as you will get length and you will optimize and maximize this value. That's the overall answer. So uh, what we have done in the code part is that we have to initialize an answer that will that will return it over from one till the square root of the area. And for every value possible from this I, I will check that whether this is dividing area because if W is dividing area, then only I have two values that is this W and this length. Okay. And then those two other values. And as soon as I get more uh, dividing values, which means that I'm 
going to the very optimal possible way because I want to return the most optimal way. So if I ever get a value that is between this, the more closest to the square root, the more optimal that answer is. And I will take that in the answer and return that answer in the final answer. That's a complete logical code part for this particular problem. This is just a brute force O of N but it is still this point, which is like, uh, like you can say O of square root of N, which is still O of N, but uh, like it is under a time of states. That's the only logical code part for this particular problem. If you still have any doubts, you can mention it in the comment box of this particular video. I will see you in the next one, coding and bye.